Some of you have asked if there is a way to share your drills with your friends. This is a great idea, so I've upgraded DryFire to support drill sharing. If you have already upgraded to the paid version of drill, dry fire, drill sharing is free. If, if you are using the free version, you will need to upgrade to the paid version. Drill sharing is available in version 1.70, which is due out today, February 14, 2016. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. The following tutorial demonstrates how you can use the sharing drill screen in dry fire. At the top of the screen, Click the extended menu icon on the right hand side. Then select share drills. When the screen appears, you'll see that you can export to a file or import from a file. Export to a file is default and this is how you create a file to be shared. The file will be stored in the folder on your phone called CSL1911A1 and the name of the file will be sharedrills.clss. Looking at the list, the drills that you want to share, you check them. You can check them all if you like, or just check a few like I have done. Once you've checked the ones that you want to share, click the save icon, and when it's complete, it will tell you that it saved them, and again, remind you that it's in the folder, and what the file name is. Click OK. At this point, if you want to email them to a friend, you can click the email icon, or if you just want to copy it up to your PC and email it that way, you can. But click the email icon, pick your email client, and then it creates the email that you can address. It does say attach to is the shared drills for on file. Some phones, though, however, won't let you set the attachment. So if you don't see the attachment shown there, you will have to attach it manually. You can change this text to whatever you want when you send it to your friend. Now, once you receive a shared file from a friend, click Import. And this drop-down list will show you the files that are in your CSL 1911A1 folder. Right now I only have the one file, so you click on that, and then the list shows you which ones that you want to share. Check the ones that you want to load to your library. Check those, and then click the Save icon, and they are stored into your library. That's how sharing is implemented on DryFire Part-Timer. I thank you for the suggestions to improve DryFire for all of us. Please continue to email me with any suggestions that you have. I will be glad to implement them as I have time. Thanks again, and, and I hope you enjoy DryFire.